Last week, two NPR executives, including the chief of NPR, Vivian Schiller, resigned over a video showing a, an NPR fundraiser making racist remarks about the Tea Party. Take a look. That was the work of gotcha journalist James O'Keefe, the same guy who dressed up like the world's most ridiculous pimp to bust acorn was caught trying to seduce a CNN anchor, was arrested for trying to tap Senator Mary Landrieu's phone lines, a real class act guy. Here's how O'Keefe described himself and his form of journalism in the NPR video. The tape is very powerful. The tape is very honest. Uh, the tape cuts to the core of who these people are. It sort of shows their hearts and minds, and it's had such an effect. Of course, it was one Right, everything is honest and true except for one thing. The video was taken completely out of context. The full version was posted online over the weekend, and what it reveals is that the NPR fundraiser wasn't expressing his opinion of the Tea Party. He was actually relaying a message that a Republican had told him. Take a look. I, I won't break a confidence, but a person who was an ambassador, so a very highly placed Republican, uh, another person who was one of the top donors to the Republican Party, they both told me they voted for Obama which they never believed they could ever do in their lives, that they could ever vote for a Democrat, ever. And they did because they believed that the current Republican Party is not really the Republican Party, that it's been hijacked by this group that is... Radical, racist, Islamophobic, Tea Party people, and not just Islamophobic, but really So he edited out all the first part of that and just put the, the Tea Party's hijacked the Republican... It's amazing what happens when the whole truth is revealed. This is the Shirley Sherrod incident all over again, creati creatively editing a video to make someone look like a racist. But here's the thing. What O'Keefe did is not illegal. However, if Republicans get their way in several states across the country, it will be illegal if O'Keefe were do to do the exact same thing on a farm. Why? Because in an effort to protect big agribiz, from organizations like PETA sending investigative journalists to uncover mistreatment and unsanitary conditions within farms, Republicans in Iowa have proposed legislation to make photographing or videotaping farm animals illegal, and people could face 10 years in prison if found guilty. Isn't there a double standard here? O'Keefe said this about investigative journalism. Reporters do a lot of stenography in this country. They do a lot of damage control. They, they do a lot of punditry. But real investigative reporting is showing things for what they are. And so, and, and yes, some networks have done this. There's less of it these days. But you're, you're saying the means justify the ends. You're willing to use deceptive tactics to get to the truth. That's your justification. No, that's, that's not what I said. I said in investigative reporting, you, it's sometimes justified to go undercover in order to get to the truth. You're not, it's a form of guerrilla theater. You're, you're so why is it illegal for PETA to uncover the truth at a farm without creative editing, I might add, but not illegal for James O'Keefe, with the help of lies, to uncover the truth at NPR. Does this make any sense to you? Here with me on the issue is Seton Motley, president of lessgovernment.org. Seton, welcome back. Greetings. Um, this was, first of all, the James O'Keefe's the serial lie. I mean, this well, it wasn't was, a serial lie. You, was you, uncovered you selectively by, edited. By you selectively his, edited. His lie was uncovered by. No, you by the, selectively edited. May, may I finish the sentence, please? Well, you're already, you're already wrong. But go ahead. You. It was uncovered by the Blaze, which is which is Glenn Beck's website. Yes. Glaze be editor Scott Baker said, and this is a quote, and it's not out of context. He said, if you look at two at the two hours in total, you largely get an impression that these are pretty. They seem to be fairly balanced people trying to do a fairly good job. Instead of jailing people, photographing cows, if we're going to jail somebody, shouldn't what? we should be jailing somebody trying to destroy other people's lives like James O'Keefe is doing? Or the media every day to Sarah Palin or Michelle Bachman or, or, or any of those people? Or whatever. I mean, well, it's, it's I, like, no, I don't is, think, frankly, that there should be any of these laws. And I'm no, I, no I agree. Oh, I, I agree. Uh, so, the, 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 so the laws you're you're you sent me about, in, uh, I guess it was Florida and Illinois or Iowa or some, somewhere in the Midwest, I think it was either redundant or ridiculous. You shouldn't break and enter. You shouldn't trespass, 
But I think that's, well, right now they're going to make it illegal. So that if well, you're driving by on the road and you take a picture of a cow in a pasture, okay, you, you can go to prison about for this. ten years. You got one guy pitching the law into Florida and one guy pitching the law in the Midwest. They, those laws you know are not going anywhere. Do you know how much money Oprah Winfrey spent defending herself against these veggie libel laws? Well, well, well she did slander the beef industry. <laughs> she said, "I'm not going to eat another hamburger." And they sued her. Uh, and she said she more spent, than that. She spent over a million dollars in legal fees because she had slandered a food. Well, she slandered you're, an you're, industry. You're, you're she slandered telling, an industry. Okay, so if I say something bad about the pharmaceutical industry, I, have to, I should have to spend a million dollars to protect. Well, myself. no, it depends what on how far to you go. What happened to freedom of speech? Well, what happened to freedom of the press? That's from the government. That's from the government. It's not from individuals. Slander and libel laws have always existed because it's from person to person. But, but you, they don't, but they don't apply to public confuse, figures like you and me. You constantly and they don't. Confuse, and so you're saying that they should apply to corporations. You constantly confuse you're the First the Amendment fee, with... The, you're saying that the, 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 if, if you or I were to, on TV, if I were to say, you know, Seton, uh, I think that, you know, your hair looks funny or something. Well, public, again, what are the public really sector? Absurd. We're both public right. figures, okay? So we can, we can slap each other around verbally and all day long and even do it off stage and or do whatever. I, look, do I think the but Oprah Winfrey if, case was if, good? If either not. one of us said something about, you know, Frank, the floor director, who's not a public figure. Hi, Frank. <laughs> How you doing, Frank? Um, Frank could sue us yeah, well, because yeah. he's a private no, citizen. Absolutely. So you're suggesting no, and I don't like the Oprah Winfrey that case. a I don't like the Oprah corporation, case. that an industry, that the meat industry should have the same protection that Frank does? Well, they're not a public figure, and you can't sleep. Wait a minute. The meat industry is not a public figure? Well, not they're out there in public. They're making millions of dollars. They're spending, they're spending millions of dollars on advertising. They, they, they've, got, they've got lobbyists here in well, Washington, D.C. Well, not all of it. There's a, they, for every one, it seems to me like they're every one, more of a public figure than you or me are. Well, no. The, the, you got like you got Frank Perdue, but then you've got 9 million people. Frank Perdue is dead. Well, well I'm saying, but I'm saying <laughs> that's somebody that everybody knows. He's a face of the, of the meat industry, the poultry industry. But then there's 9 he's, million he's people behind brand. him. Well, no, but he's also, he was a person, and, and there's Pilgrim's Pride, Bo Pilgrim down in Texas, who dresses up in a Pilgrim's outfit and, and it's hawks a brand. chicken. But, but what I'm saying is, but for every one of them, there's 9 million people that work behind him that aren't public figures that get hurt when something like this those, happens. Those people were not the ones that Oprah Winfrey was she slandered. No, well, she, actually, she ultimately won. So well, she, she won, and anybody. she should have. But what I'm saying is, those are the people that get hurt, not Frank Perdue. He's got coin. The people you hurt are the chicken pluckers and the and the meat producers, the meat processors. They don't make a lot of money, and if their if their business goes down, they get fired. So if we tell Frank it, if we tell the truth, money. if we tell the truth about that, mm -hmm. we should go to jail. Well, there was no truth about that. There was no there was no mad cow. So over if here. somebody takes a picture, well, you how do you know that? Because there never has been. You didn't know that it's illegal to test for mad cow in the United States. There is no mad cow in the United States when Oprah Winfrey said what she said on TV. Well, what, she wasn't talking about mad cow at that no. time. But even right now, you're saying there's no mad cow. You don't know that. I don't know that. Nobody knows that. I eat some meat. I haven't gone mad yet. How do you know? <laughs> Only when I come here. Okay. But I think that's selective mad cow. I, you know, that's yeah, mad it, cow. It, it, it may well be. I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I don't get this whole, this whole concept of that the Republicans are promoting on behalf of these corporations saying that if, if you or I say something nasty about one of these corporations... Well, no, I don't like the legislation. You know, get the and, go and face 10 years no, no, the legislation is, is, is either redundant or ridiculous. Like I said, you can't break and enter into somebody's poultry farm and start filming. I'm not even talking about breaking and entering. I'm talking about then from the road. It's absurd. You know. Um, but no, but what I'm saying is the people you allegedly want to help, which is the working class people... The I want to just people, tell the truth. Well, yes. About what's but, going on. But if you're not telling the truth, like for example, remember what happened with Food Lion? I think it was ABC did a did a sting on Food Lion, and they fraudulently uh, create. I, I know nothing about this. This was about eight or nine years ago, maybe longer. They went into Food Lion. They didn't find the evidence they were looking for because Food Lion's a non-union grocery yeah. store. They went in there, fabricated a whole bunch I'm of. Guessing they got nailed for it. Oh, oh, it was a big embarrassment for, yeah, okay. for one of the so, networks. So, they, I mean, that's how it should work out. But in, in any case, I think we've, we've, we've covered the topic. Seaton, Good to see you, man. By. Thank Good you very much. Thanks for showing up.